Xiaomi is the second best Chinese company, number 4 in the world and number 1 in India. They were able to achieve this feat through their sub brands, which include the Mi series, the Redmi series, the Mi Note series, the Pocophone series, the Black Shark, and the Mimix series. Now, the Mi series is the flagship lineup. The Redmi series is more of the budget and the mid range lineup. Then, the Mi Note series is their photography lineup. Then, the Pocophone is their flagship killers. The Black Shark is the gaming series and the Remix series is an experimenting lineup. Now, Xiaomi began its operation in 2010 as a software based company. This is then ventured into smartphones. In a bit of celebrating their 10th year anniversary, Xiaomi launched commemorative editions of two smartphones and one exclusive TV. So in this video, we'll look at the Mi 10 Ultra, the Redmi K32 Ultra, and the Mi TV Lux OLED. So without further ado, let's get it all started. First is the Mi 10 Ultra, which made headlines for, for having three features that went over the 100, which are the 120Hz OLED display over against the 90Hz found on the Mi 10 Pro, the 120x hybrid zoom against the 50 times hybrid zoom found on the Mi 10 Pro and the 120 watt fast wired charging and 55 watt reverse charging against the 50 watt wired and 30 watt wireless charging found on the Mi 10 Pro. Now the 120 watt wired charger was advertised to top up the dual cell 4500 mAh battery in under 20 minutes which is really insane. At the launch event of the Mi 10 Ultra, we saw it gain the top number one spot in DxO Mark, which made it the number one best smartphone camera as of the time of writing. By having a total score of 130, 142 for photography, and 106 for video. Another interesting part of the Mi 10 Ultra is the price. The base variant, which is the 8 gig and 128 gig, goes for $760. The 8 and 256 gig model goes for $805. The 12 and 256 gig model goes for $865. And the highest variant, the 6 and 512, goes for $1,005. Now, over to the Redmi K30 Ultra. The Redmi K30 Pro was launched earlier this year and came into the international market as the Poco F2 Pro. Now, it was strongly criticized for not having a high refresh display in 2020. The solution was the Redmi K30 Ultra, which came with a 120Hz AMOLED panel. And at a cheaper price at 2,999 RMB or $287 for the base variant which is the 6 and 1 to 8 gig and the other variant such as this 8 and 256 gig was $316 the 8 and 256 gig model was $360 and the, and the 8 and 512 gig model went for $387 to achieve such a price point Xiaomi had to cut corners in some areas such as the chipset instead of having an is Instead of having a Snapdragon 865 chipset, we had we saw the Diamond T1000 Plus chipset. And instead of having a, an LPDDR5 RAM, we saw an LPDDR4X. Instead of the UFS 3.0 storage, we saw a UFS 2.1 storage. That doesn't mean this is a bad device, but it won't be as fast as the Snapdragon 865 RAM. But at this price point, the compromises are totally acceptable. Lastly is the Mi TV Lux OLED. As the name sounds, this is an OLED TV, but unlike any other TV you have in your house right now, this is a transparent TV. And it's big at 55 inch 120Hz OLED display with very thin bezels all around. What's more interesting about this TV is the astronomical price. It was actually priced out 59,999 RMB or 7,000 US dollars. In summary, during the Xiaomi's 10th year anniversary, we saw the Mi 10 Ultra ready high refresh rate display, the charging speed, the best in class camera, and the price point placed it as the best flagship for 2020. Next was the Redmi K30 Ultra, where its, perfor where its performance, its high refresh rate display, and its price point also placed it as the best mid range for 2020. Lastly was the Mi TV Lux OLED, which became the very first mass produced transparent OLED TV. Thanks for watching guys, if you want me to do a review on any of these smartphones, the Mi 10 Ultra or the Redmi K30 Ultra, feel free to drop it in the comment section down below. 
I also love to get your thoughts on these newly launched devices. Which is your favorite among the Mi 10 Ultra, the Redmi K32 Ultra, and the Mi TV Lux OLED? If you like the video, please click the like button and don't forget to click the subscribe button and toggle on the bell icon to get notified when I drop my next video. It's Bernard Decker from Revitech and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.